All right, let's see if this works out. I've got the uh, camera propped up in my shoe, and hopefully you can see how much flex this board has. Um, keep in mind that the board rocks. I can't really get it to stop doing that unless I take the trucks off and put some boards underneath it. So anyway, keep that in mind. Also note that I weigh about 205 pounds. All right, you can see there that it's pretty stiff. Um, you know, I'm jumping up and down on it pretty high and also doing it with uh, with one foot. And uh, and it's pretty stiff, it's not really moving much. It might look like it's moving more on the video, but I'd say if it's moving at all, probably be a quarter of an inch. All right, uh, let's take another look at this. This time I've got it on the uh, concrete. And um, I'm not going to be able to jump up and down on it just because the board will go flying. But, uh, but anyway, I'll be able to uh, pick my weight up and down off of it. All right, you guys, there she is. This is the carbon fiber downhill racing board that we just made. And I'll tell you what, this board turned out beautiful. Um, I like to give uh, projects reviews after I'm done uh, making them. So let me give you a quick overview on this board. Um, first off, I really like the uh, tread on here. Uh, it just turned out nice. When the light hits it just right, you can see the uh, carbon fiber weave in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it now, but, but anyway, that looks really cool. Also, I like the stripes here. Uh, the finished carbon fiber makes a nice, uh, pretty, woven uh, carbon fiber look when you look at it. So anyway, I also like the uh, countersunk uh, screws for the, uh, the truck mounts. That turned out nice. I like that better than the finish washers. Uh, you can use either one and it's still going to look good though. All right, so let's go to the uh, the underside here. Um, I really love these, uh, these handles that we put on here. You know, uh, love handles, death grips, whatever. And the only thing I really don't like about the board is the uh, the brown color that I used there and the uh, the epoxy. It's a brown pigment for the epoxy and I really don't like it. So um, on the next board maybe just leave it uh, clear so you just see the uh, black carbon fiber make it uh, blue, green, red, whatever. I think I'd like those colors better. Uh, one other thing that turned out good um, that I was a little bit worried about was the uh, the undercarriage lining that I stuck under the, uh, the truck here for the truck mount. That helps uh, eliminate some of the uh, road vibrations and dampen some of the noise from the road. So that turned out nice. makes a little smoother ride. Uh, trying to think of what else you need to know. This is the, uh, the stiffest, smoothest board I've ridden. And um, I would love to be able to go up on the mountain and ride it down the, the hill at 70 miles an hour. But I'm just not that good of a longboarder, so it's not going to happen. I'd love to get this board into a pro's hand uh, or you know an experienced longboarder's hand. If you are in the northern Utah area and you want to try this board out, let me know. Uh, send me a PM, uh, leave a comment, go to theprojectjunkie.com and find me, and I will try to get this board into your hands so you can try it out, and then you can give me a, a review on what you really think of it. So anyway, hope you guys like that uh, project um, or tutorial, and um, you know, give it a try if you're a longboarder, and I will see you guys on the next project.
<laughs> Mom's gonna love that one. I'd stop a little quicker. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome.